We're back and we're talking Sergeant Pepper again and we're bringing in weird little album, Magical Mystery Tour. I'm not going to call it a soundtrack because I got called out on that. Even though there is a movie, it's not a soundtrack, it's an album. This was the first Beatles album I ever owned, not this one. First one I had on CD because of a song on here that I became obsessed with that eventually led to me being. Beatles fan I am today. After hearing so many songs, one just clicked something and then it's have, have not looked back. What's your what's your preference? Which one do you want to do? Well, it sounds like it sounds like you've made a, a cause to, to to represent Magical Mystery Tour. And I can't wait to hear what song that is because I've got a kind of a similar story, which is very oh. strange. I, I have not heard your your magical mystery tour I story. So I'm like, where's the track listing? It's inside. I So my copy is not great, but it has the entire book. So that there's that. All right. All righty. Uh, so I'll, I'll kick it off with Sgt. Pepper then, since that yeah, was do the it. album that came out, what, six months before? So uh, we've got the title track, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, and that's going up against... The title track, Magical Mystery Tour. And this is tough. This is tough because I love this song. I, I, I think there are 10 great songs on this 11 track album. Um, and Magical Mystery Tour is one. Is it better than Sgt. Pepper? I don't know. I think if you're going to ask me which one I'd rather listen to, I might want to jump aboard. Magical Mystery Tour. So not to do it to be a contrarian, but that is where I'm going. How about you? Ah, uh, the same. Yep, we're both rolling right up, right to that magical mystery tour. Step, Step right, right in. Right. And I have the uh, the the. So there's a magical mystery tour box set which has the original EP, uh, which it was intended to be just the songs from the the film, hmm. but uh, Capital, who was the American distributor for the Beatles, put out uh, the soundtrack with some of the singles that had been released prior and. Um, you know, right around the same time, which made it a full proper album. This is the only Capitol album that's become canonized when they reissued the Beatles albums on CD in 1988. And that might be why it's such a good album is because it's some of those tracks. I mean, it's those movie tracks, but then some damn good singles. Um, All right. I know what track two is on Sgt. Pepper. Right. It goes right out of Sergeant. It's, it goes right out of the title track. It is feel. Uh, it's um. Be help with my friends. Yeah. She's. What would you think? Yeah. Give us a. Yeah. With a little help. Fool on the hill is track two on Magical Mystery Tour. Um, I was kind of like, is it is it up against uh, when I'm sixty four? Because that's probably the more one to one. Um, as far as like tempo and production, but Fool on the Hill is better. I think it's better than when I'm 64 too, uh, or uh, Help from My Friends, excuse me. So I'm going to go with another Magical Mystery Tour track. Uh, I like Fool on the Hill. Um, yeah. Yeah, me too, Jacob. Fool on the Hill is great. Uh, great Paul song. I think he's got his voice is just in, in, in top shape on this song. And I love that little yodeling section he has in the middle of the song when he's Whoa, whoa, it's just so joyous and happy and uh and the scene in the movie too where he's basically you know portraying the fool on the hill and just skipping and jumping at the top of this thing and i i, I just love that song and the recorder there's like a recorder or a flute pan flute solo or something like that i just think it's fantastic. <laughs> maybe not a pan flute a fife i'm thinking this may be my favorite Paul album is what I was going to say. There's a lot of great Paul vocals in here. And I'm someone who at the moment, I'm kind of cold on Paul. I don't know. It's a combination of that movie and doing this experiment. Uh, I'm, I've kind of chilled on Paul a little bit, but I love him. I love him on this album. What's the next one on Sgt. Pepper? Well, we're going to go to John now. We're going to do a little Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Yeah. So this is barely a song. It's flying. Um, people might like it. Some people might like it. I don't know who you like. It's not Lucy in the Sky of Diamonds anyway. Like this is an easy, easy call for me. 
Yeah. Me too. Me too. Yep. Now take a look over at the right here, and then you'll notice the countryside. And now take a look over at the left. It's a cool, it's a cool little uh, instrumental, but uh, it actually it's good for like background music if if you're doing like a video or something like that because it's just pretty unassuming. But yeah, losing the sky with diamonds just completely destroys it. So we'll go right to track four, and I'll start off if you don't mind. Uh, we've got uh, getting better, uh, pri primarily a Paul song, but just a fantastic tune. Okay. Um, we talked about how um, there's some, like some of these songs are creepy. Um, Getting Better is not one of those. I would say Blue Jay Way is a creepy song. And it's one I love. I love, love, love Blue Jay Way. I don't, I, I don't know if it's, I'm going to say it's, I like it better than Getting Better, but maybe just because it's weird. It's weird and creepy and it's not about circus folk or anything. It's just weird and abstract. A lot of the, this is the druggiest, I imagine, era of the Beatles. There are ones that don't make any sense. I like Blue Jay Way. Um, is it considered one of the worst Beatles songs or something? You're like, yeah, I like it. I, I like I like the weird waltziness to it. Um, at least today when I was listening to it, I was like, you know what? I think this is cool. Are you going to go with Getting Better? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> getting, getting Better made my top 25 Beatles songs of all time a year ago. Blue Jay Way, I actually would rank, I, I, well, I have ranked the tracks on Magical Mystery Tour and I haven't watched it, but since I did it, but I do remember that being dead last for me. I put flying <laughs> out of that. There's a fog upon LA. This song, I, I, I lump in with like long, long, long. Another just George, like boring, like no energy song. And his voice is just, you're right, it is. Please, please I like the distort, at least on the remaster that I was listening to today, like, they're, they're doing something to his voice to make it sound like un, unworld, like otherworldly. I'm questioning whether it's better than getting better or if I'm now I'm just going straight on contrarian, but yeah. I put it down. Power to you, brother. Ten. That's the rule. So come at me, comment bros. <laughs> um, I was just, it just, and tomorrow I might hate it. Today in the car, I was like, you know what? This is cool. I think it's cool. All right. And I'm, I'm not a George guy either. Um, but, you know, okay. Cool. Hey, that's uh, uh, whatever. That's awesome. I've never heard. Yeah, that's that's something. I Hey, this is coming from the guy who went with uh, if I needed someone over yesterday. So yeah, well, hypocrite, hypocrite alert, right? <laughs> but yeah, that's can't get no worse. Come on. Right. <laughs> What's next? Uh, number five, uh, fixing a hole. Staying with Paul, where the rain, fixing a hole where the rain gets in, stops my mind from wandering. What do we have uh, for number five? Your mother should know. Another kind of goofy one. Um, again, listening to it today, I really liked your mother should know. <laughs> and fixing a hole, I, I do like that, the bridge. Or whether I'm wrong or right, or whether I'm, wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna keep on the keep on the tour right now. I think I might like your mother should know more than fixing a hole at this point in time. Matt, I like your mother should know. Um, it's one of those songs that gets lumped in with um, when I'm 64, Honey Pie off of the White Album. I like this uh, better than those songs, though. Yeah, I do too. And I like yeah. it when it goes sing it again, da 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 da. The wordless part, uh, which kind of gives you those happy together. Ba 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 ba. ba. Um, fixing a hole is, I don't think, a very highly thought of song. I know your mother should know is not. I know a lot of people put that with Blue Jay Way as one of their least favorites, but I've always liked it. Uh, boy, this is really, truly tough for me. Um, I'm gonna give it to fixing a hole. I just think there's more going on there. I think your mother should know is catchy as hell, but uh, yeah, that might be it. Fixing a hole, I think because I was fun. listening to it while driving and singing. Mm -hmm. I do like it. All right, Number I think six. we're ending side A. Uh, yes, we are. Oh, we got one more song. Oh. Uh, there's uh, two songs left on Sergeant Pepper. All right. Two, yeah, we've got two more. So the penultimate side one track on pepper is she's leaving home the paul songs just keep a rolling on this album 
so this is the song I was talking about that made me a Beatles fan is I am the walrus goo goo gajoob which if I say I'm a lyrics guy you're gonna be like well that's the song you like but so every Sunday driving home from church we'd hear the Beatles brunch on the oldie station and so I always heard the Beatles but when they played that song I was like mom we need to drive to Des Moines we need to go to Best Buy I need to buy this on a CD because it's such a weird crazy almost proto metal <laughs> i don't know i don't know if it's metal but i'm like it's weird enough that i'd be like i could i think the beatles are cool uh and yeah never looked back so maybe more of a sentimental favorite than a logical one but five now for me yeah, I've told this story on my channel. I don't know if you've ever heard this story and I'll make it quick. Uh, when I was in middle school, we had to do like a bring an album or a song that was your favorite or represented you in some, I don't know. It was, it was I had some, to do that at, in college twice. Yeah, this is middle, this Clearly is middle. now I know that's just a way for the teacher not to have to bother with a <laughs> class plan <laughs> for a week. Right, exactly. But, and yes. you'd play it, you know, and then you'd write up a little paper on it and you'd you'd read it to the class. And I actually did uh, uh, I am the walrus. It was always a favorite of mine. Uh, I just I just always thought it was just so fantastic, the imagery, um, the psychedelic touches. But you know, now when I listen to that song, it's the parts that I didn't necessarily love so much as a kid that I really love, like the sitting in an English garden waiting for this. I mean, that's a beautiful melody in a very strange song. But then the, the but the sun won't come. You get a tan from standing in the English rain. Oh, my God. Uh, top 10. I don't, I don't even know. I may go beyond even saying Beatles. Top 10 favorite song of all time. And I don't like she's leaving home. And like it, it, it's so <laughs> it pissed me off last episode. So I'm I'm just yes. easy call for me. Easy, easy for me too. All right, that's the end of side uh one on this. So I'll do a quick uh scorecard. Uh six to one or five to one, excuse me. Magical mystery tour to search pepper. Nice. Oh, this is sentiment, I know. And it's a tie for you, three to three, nice. um, which is probably where it should be. <laughs> But uh, now we're getting into the single, so it's going to get even more interesting. Honestly, okay. uh, what what where are we at? I'm sorry so to pepper. The last last track on side one for for Sergeant Pepper, and it's being for the benefit of Mr. Kite, um, a song that I said in our previous Sergeant Pepper uh, ranking against uh, track versus track with Revolver that I do quite like. Um, I do quite like that song and that's, but that's going to go up against some Goliath single. What is it going? Yeah. All five of these are killers. So uh, hello. Goodbye. Um, I believe it's hello. Goodbye. I lost it. I saw it and it's in my book. My book is turned. You're right. It is. It is hello. Goodbye. Yeah. And for me, it's hello. Goodbye. I benefit of Mr. Kites works well on that album for sure. Um, but as a song versus song, which is what we're doing here. Yeah. And another one for the tour for me. Mm, this one's tough. This one's really tough for me. I, I like Hello Goodbye. I think it's a, a really fine song. I never cared for that. Ella, e, e, yeah, Ella, yeah, yeah. At the end. Um, and for whatever reason, Hello Goodbye and Your Mother Should Know always give off similar vibes to me. I think That's true. That's yeah. So I'm going to give it to being for the benefit of Mr. Kite. I, I just, I'm on kind of this weird kick. I know I'm the Walrus is on magical mystery tour, but I am the Walrus and being for the benefit of Mr. Kite have kind of a, I oh, think for a sure. Thing. For sure. So I'm going to go with pepper. All right. Um, pepper. What is next? Oh God. This is the opening of side one. And, uh, it's, uh, yeah. George doing his, his sitar thing within you, without you. I mean, you know, you know, I'm going to go against that, but yeah, it's some it's strawberry fields forever, <laughs> yeah. which I, I think I said I liked rain better than, but damn, strawberry fields forever is excellent. I mean, it's, it's freaking top tier, top shelf. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I'll go keep going with pepper here. Um, then we got one, uh, let's see. We're talking we got... about the butthole surfers all of a sudden. What's going on? Uh, yeah, <laughs> when I'm 64. Right. When I'm 64. Versus Penny Lane. Penny Lane. <laughs> uh, oh. right through these last tracks, I have a feeling, at this rate anyway, right? Yeah. Well, I, I think there's at least one more uh, one that's going to win. But um, 
Baby, you're a rich man on Magical Mystery Tour. That's going against Ooh. going up against Lovely Rita, which uh, again I like. I like Lovely Rita. It's one of my. I like that a lot more than some of the other tracks. Mm -hmm. um, but it is not Baby, you're a rich man. So agreed. And and I know some people. This is ridiculous, and and you have to really question them and their musical ear. But I know some people that don't particularly like Baby, you're a rich man. I think they're insane. That is an amazing song. And these are some people that like songs like Tomorrow Never Knows and stuff. So they like the weird stuff, but they don't get Baby. See, Baby, you're a rich man. That How does it feel to be what? And, and then the goofiness at the end. I absolutely love that song. Yeah, I, I could get like if it's a lyric thing, I get it because she puts all her money inside a big brown bag inside a zoo. What a thing to do. It's <laughs> dumb. It's dumb. Um, but yeah, it's so fun to sing along with. Uh, what's next on Sergeant Pepper? And we'll close out a uh, magical mystery tour. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> By the way, we didn't talk about this when we did Sergeant Pepper last time. When we talked about good morning, good morning, you know, I mentioned it was a cornflake commercial, but I do love that middle section all around and down is what they're doing. Everything you see is what they're yeah, doing. Yeah. That's pretty cool, but uh. So it ends on a song I don't necessarily love, but I think it's better than that. It's all you need is love. Um, it's a, it's a song I like. No, I'm sure. with you. I, I, it, the love songs as I get older are the ones that my career. Yeah, I but, hear you. I agree. But I like it better than that. So <laughs> that's tough for me. I don't like. I don't like all you need is love. I've never liked that song. It's starting with the French national anthem. <laughs> yeah i don't like this song i've never liked it i don't like good morning good morning either oh boy this is these are both like at the bottom for me of these albums i'll give it to magical mystery tour yeah if we were doing last track versus last track i think it'd be a different story but it's a, it's against a weaker track all right so now we go to a single yes Yes, we have Lady Madonna, which was recorded uh, months after the release of uh, Magical Mystery Tour, and it would have been the single that would have um, come in between this album and uh, the White Album. So it's the next, and it's B side is the Inner Light, which is a like a George <laughs> Sitar. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's an easy L, but uh, what is um, Lady Madonna going against? Lady Madonna is going up against uh, the reprise of Sgt. Pepper. See, if we were to get rid of the reprise and just do enter, uh, and do Lady Madonna versus the next song, like that's a, that's a tougher call. Um, it's tough. The reprise is the one I like more. You know, I think I am because I had to pick Magical Mystery Tour. I am going to pick the Sgt. Pepper reprise over Lady Madonna. So you don't care for Lady Madonna, basically. It's fine. It's fine. But I like I like Sergeant like I like Sergeant Pepper. I like that song. I like the reprise more. Um, yeah, and it's it, when I say I'm cool. I'm cool on Paul at the moment. This is an effect of that. Yeah, or yeah. being affected by that. I'm not a big Lady Madonna fan either. I, yeah. I've been trying to like gain an appreciation. I think when I was younger, I liked it because it's kind of a an old it's rock a theme to the hit sitcom uh, Grace Under Fire, if I recall right. <laughs> you are right, absolutely. <laughs> I think it was a, a different performance. Yeah, of for sure. Yeah, it's not. I, I'm going to give it to it though. I mean, Sgt. Uh, Pepper. It just that doesn't seem like a fair fight. Lady Madonna is okay. I've never hated it. It's just it's not one that I. Not one of the singles. It did huge business too. People really like lapped that one up when it when it came out. But uh, it sounds more like uh, like one of Paul solo songs, honestly. Well, he still does it. Yeah, yeah that's does it. maybe that's why I associate it like that. Right. This is okay. So this next one. <laughs> yeah, this we're doing in the life and yeah. in the life versus a sitar track. Um, pretty. Um, Okay. No comment, right? We need we need say nothing on this one. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, this for both of us did a lot better. We're gonna get yelled at, I'm sure. Um, 
I especially will get yelled at because it was a 10 to 3. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I get, of the actual album, I only let flying lose. <laughs> yes. I, and I'll be remembered for uh, my dad's name was Jay. So maybe and, that's why. Well, and, and you probably could have picked Lady Madonna over the reprise, too. I think you maybe did that out of an act of charity, right? I, I felt bad about Blue Jay Way. <laughs> so that's why I did it. Uh, yours is still like nine to five. Uh, is that, does that math add up? No. Must be eight. Oh, yeah, it's eight to five. Eight to five. So you're well, not doing a dolly, but still. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Jacob, when I uh, rank the Beatles. Because of this Frankenstein deal, because yeah. it's a weird Frankenstein, makes it. But I've always been an advocate for this as one of the best, if not the best. Me too. Me too. I've actually considered putting it as my favorite Beatles album, song for song. If you look at the quality of the tracks, I mean, it's the shortest. It's what we just but, did, but yeah. I mean, this is considered the greatest Beatles album of all time, and this absolutely murdered that album. I mean, for you anyway, and for me, it was still substantial. Like it was, it wasn't close. No, yeah, song for song, killer versus filler. Um, yeah, people might. I mean, I didn't care for flying, and you know, people hate that one, but yeah, good, good albums. All right, we'll be back with more Beatles. Please don't kill us. Uh, oh. Should we do the jazz hands again? <laughs> Should it, and, <laughs> or the wall the walrus oh yeah do the wall i was i was trying to oh i covered it up with oh, the album i was trying to the do the down the stairs the Eggman. oh <laughs>